So have you been looking for a descendant that can literally poison her enemies to death? Or what about fire poison bullets at them inflicting damage? If that sounds like a descendant you want, well, Freyna is your girl. Her first skill, Toxic Trauma, fires toxic bullets. Enemies hit by the toxic bullet receives damage. A toxic puddle is created where the toxic bullet explodes. Enemies that touch that toxic puddle are inflicted with trauma. Trauma deals continuous damage and inflicts poison on nearby enemies in fixed intervals. And that's what's actually cool about this, the fact that you can spread that poison after you hit one because of the puddle and then spreading that poison if any of the enemies touch that puddle. It's a very cool concept and I actually like this skill a lot. Her next skill called Defense Mechanism, it gains Plague Body Armor for a certain period of time. Now Plague Body Armor increases your defense and has the chance to inflict trauma on the attacking enemy. Now remember, trauma deals continuous damage and inflicts poison on nearby enemies for fixed intervals. So a great way to have some type of survivability, but also inflict that poison on the enemies. Her third skill, Decompose Poison. It throws toxics to create a toxic swamp. Enemies entering toxic swamp receive continuous damage and become afflicted with poison and venom soaked. Enemies inflicted with venom soaked leave toxin footprints as they move. And enemies that touch that toxic footprints also become inflicted with poison. Now you can see if you can get that poison level up, it's going to cause a lot of damage, eliminating the enemies before they have a chance at getting towards you. Her fourth and final skill is called Venom Baptism. It switches the equipped weapon to Venom Baptism. The original weapon returns when all bullets have been used or a certain period of time has passed. Enemies hit by Venom Baptism bullets receive damage and become afflicted with trauma. Remember, trauma deals continuous damage and inflicts poison on nearby enemies. So shooting poison bullets at the enemy is not only fun, but very effective. Now for her passive skills called Unauthorized Bullet. When attacking enemies inflicted with poison due to Freya's skills with firearm attack, you will deal additional damage. Now it took a little bit to get used to how to play with her, but if you learn to use your skills effectively and learn to use the poison to your advantage, you can pretty much get through activities firing a minimum amount of bullets and i get this question a lot hey skills have you been having issues with bullet management because i seem to be running out of bullets all the time and i'll tell you if that seems to be the case maybe you're using your descendant wrong because your descendant should be able to put out a lot of the damage if you spec into them right and what i mean by that is make sure you have the right modules on your descendant make sure you have the right modules on your weapons so that way you can amplify the amount of damage that you're going to be doing to these guys and take them out without having to put out too much damage yourself using your bullets and once you can find the right balance for your play style your skills how to use them you'll definitely find the right descendant for you right the big thing with this game is there's a different play style for each descendant so figuring out what kind of play style you want to play in first descendants is going to improve how you play and how you enjoy this game right if you enjoy running and gunning then don't select a descendant that relies on their skills to put out the damage so finding that right play style is really going to enhance your gameplay and how you enjoy this game so definitely have fun with this this has been a pleasure learning how to play with Freyna. I, I'm actually enjoying it. I, I think I think she's amazing. And I honestly want to keep leveling this character up. Mine's currently at 29. I just unlocked her yesterday. So I'm excited to keep going, keep maxing out. I've been messing with the modules a little bit, increasing my toxic damage. And, and I can't wait to see what she ends up doing once she's fully leveled up. Because it's going to be a lot of fun with her. With only having one descendant left to cover on this channel, I want to know who has been your favorite to play with. I know some of you guys have unlocked multiple descendants. At the moment, who is your go-to descendant? I will say, I don't know. I, I keep I keep going left, right, left, right. Um, Honestly, I like Bunny a lot. I, I, I want to say Bunnies, especially if you build her right. She's pretty fun to use to farm missions. And the error effect damage that she does is so cool. But Freyna's actually been a lot of fun. And I think I'm going to run with her um, for a little bit. But we have one more Descendant to cover tomorrow. And then at the end of this open beta, I'm going to do a full review of the open beta. My thought of the game. Where I think this game can go. And if I'm excited, not excited for the future of the first Descendants. But we'll have that at the end of 
the open beta well, once i get more time in i think right now since we finished the open beta story like we finished the campaign where it lets you go to i am currently just working on the colossus battles right um those mini bosses i'm working on those and i think i'll probably just be messing with characters and then i'll obviously trying to finish those if i can get a team or if i can get some good randoms but it's been fun I'm, I'm having a blast at the moment guys and i will see you guys in the next one hey take it easy everybody